a mindset, guys, before it's ever body. If you're fucked up here, this motherfucker cannot do it. These expectations are huge. Let me give you a metaphor that I really put a grasp on it. Let's say you're dating a new girl, right? You know? Let's say you're not even dating her yet. You know, you just roll out to uh, a local bar or something watching the game and this and this ray of sunshine comes in, man. And you're just like, whoa, it just knocks on your ass. You're like, who is that person? You're with your buddies and everything else, watching the game, having a good time. But you're like, dude, I, hold on, man. I want something. I wanna go get that. You know, I, I, that looks really cool. I, I wanna, I'm intrigued by it. So with your buddies, you say, hey man, I can't be with you right now. You know, I, I gotta go check on something. So you go over there, you're scared and everything else. Hey, how are you? You're nervous and everything else. You're polite, you're respectful. You look her in the eye, you giggle, you you know, it's, a, it's so cool. I love it, it's one of the great, great highs in life, that nervousness. And then she says, hey, how are you back? And now all of a sudden something grows. You guys go out again, a couple more times. Have you guys had sex? Then all of a sudden what happens is something really bad. Because now all of a sudden um, you become girlfriend and boyfriend. But it's not girlfriend and boyfriend. When you're with your guys watching the game, you say, that's my girlfriend, don't you? My girlfriend. So before you wanted her, you wanted to be with her, right? That's what you wanted. There's a blockade there, nervousness, fears, maybe she has rejection, I don't know what these things are. But you're, you know, your anger grew, your butterflies, you know, blood started popping through you and you went up there, maybe your voice was cracking at first and you found that cute. It was all innocent and pure and beautiful. Then over time, you know, you expected her to be over there. You expected Saturday night to be with her. That's my girlfriend. She's doing the same thing, that's my boyfriend. Facebook status, you better change that shit up. There ain't no single anymore. You know, in a, in a commitment, committed relationship now. Now all of a sudden, who's that fucking guy you're talking to? Oh, what do you mean? I can't talk to another guy? You my girl. I expect certain things. What's happening right there is you start to own that person and vice versa. And you start to be disconnected to the person itself because it's expected, you own it. It's supposed to be this way. It does not work that way, guys. That is the start of the downfall, man. You wonder why all these relationships and stuff so hard. It's because they've lost the mutual respect. You know, they say that, that honeymoon phase, it should always be that way. If you don't expect anything. I had a girl, I'll give you a personal example. I had a girl that came over, the, you know, not so long ago. And you know, we've been like fuck buddies for a while and um, hanging out and stuff. And, and all of a sudden she's like, you know what? I need a committed relationship from you. I need to be a committed relationship. I go, I don't know what that is. What do you mean committed relationship? I need you to be my boyfriend. I go, I can't do that. What do you mean you can't do that? She gets all pissed off with me. I go, because you're looking for some guarantee in life and there are no guarantees. You're not entitled to shit in life. You're entitled for the opportunity. You're entitled to work hard for it. You don't own anything. Even if you won the title last year, you don't own it the next year. You better pick your game up because the competition saw how you won it. They've got the juice on that. They're gonna win it too. You gotta beat them out. She goes, I want a committed relationship. I go, the only thing I can commit to you, this is all I can commit to you. She didn't like it, by the way. She ain't around anymore either, by the way. I go, the only thing I can commit is this. If I come over to see you, I'm coming over to see you because I want to see you. I want to be with you that day. If that day, or that time, or whatever else, is fun, enjoying, and enjoy it, and enjoy each other's company, then I want to see you again. That's the only thing I can promise you. That's the only thing I can be committed to. And vice versa. Meaning every day when I see you, I'm gonna treat you with respect because I want to be there. And you do the same for me and we'll grow forever. But having a title, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, is a false front that you really can't lean on. But everyone does. They start leaning on that boyfriend, girlfriend, so they can be a dick once in a while if they want to. Because they're expected to be with them. No, you're not, man. What happens, you start to disvalue. You, you take for granted situations all of a sudden. You don't train as hard for competitions. All these things start to confuse the mindset of what it's all about. You know, when you want it the first time. When I got my first cover, man, dude, and I'm guilty of this. When I got my first cover, dude, I was on cloud nine for like ever. Man, I was so proud of myself, but humble too. 
I remember it was Muscle and Fitness. And I went to the bookstore and I grabbed three covers and, and I put my hat down real low because I, you know, I thought I was famous, man. I thought everyone was going to recognize me. And I grabbed the, like three or four covers, you know, and, and, uh, of the magazine. Same magazine. Who does that? Who buys the same magazine? Four of them, yeah. Unless they're on the cover or inside or something. And I go to buy it. And uh, you know, here it is, the cover. And I grab all four of them and I put face down and give it to the cashier. You know, cashier grabs it, one, flips it over, scans it, flips it over the next one, sees the same one, scans it. The next one scans it, looks, looks at me like, like, hey, something's wrong with me. I mean, maybe he's got to tell me, hey, man, you bought four of the same. Did you know that? And he looks at me, and I'm, my head's kind of down. I kind of look up because you know, I'm ready to pay. And he goes, is this you? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, that's me, man. He's like, wow, man, why'd you put them down like that? You know, you should be proud of this. It's great. I go, yeah, I don't know. You know, just, just you know, let me just pay for it and get out of here, you know? He goes, he's not paying for it. The guy at Barnes & Noble, man, my very first cover. I didn't buy it. You would think that fucking magazine obviously would give it, give me some, but no, that didn't happen either. This guy pulled out 20 bucks or whatever it was, $18 for the four magazines and paid for it. <laughs> Blew my mind, man. Blew my mind. But after that, that high, a natural high, you know, 200 some covers later, you know, it's kind of like, now I'm like, fuck, man. I don't have a cover coming out next month, man. I gotta get on the, get on track here. And I'll see now that now we're losing the value of it all. Now I'm guilty of this too, guys. And now I'm gonna show your email here, man. It's really fucking enlightening me too, man, making me think of different things. And I'm challenging you guys to really think of this, guys. There's an expectation and then there's a want. There's a goal and an expectation, basically. The goal's pure. You know, it's, it's something you haven't achieved. It's pure. You go after it. You learn from the shortcomings along the way. Whether it takes you a day to get it or it takes you 10 years to get it, you learn to get that goal. And once you get it, to get it again is a new goal. It's not expected. You're not favored. Because therefore you just, you know, discredit everybody else working their ass off just like you did that one time to achieve it. You discredit all their work because you own them. You know, the girlfriend that you're with, you know, you're trying to get to know her. Once you get to know her all of a sudden, you know, then all of a sudden, you know, your best behavior, next thing you know, you're farting in front of her. Well, that's not cool. Maybe it's funny once if, you know, if it slips out. But, you know, it's not like, eh, yeah, yeah, baby, hey, give me another beer. No, it's like, dude, what happened to that first time you met her, man? By the way, when you first met her, what did you do? You said, hey, guys, sorry, man. I'll catch a game in a minute. Let me go check on something. Fast forward to a year. Baby, I'm with the guys, man, watching the game. Why can't you just give me some fucking space? What the fuck's that about, man? You see what's happening here? It's an ownership problem. And that's what expectations are. Same, same goal, same want. But for some reason, you feel like you own it. Look at this throughout your life, guys. Get rid of that. Because that want, I mean, that expectation, when you own it and it doesn't go your way, the anger that, that, that was risen to get it again, the drop-off is huge.